Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. What's wrong, girls? We just saw the coolest toy, a flying cylinder. But it costs about $12, and we don't have that much money. Hmm. How about we make one for about the cost of a piece of paper? Let's build a physics toy. Remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're going to make gyro flyers. For this, you'll need tape and paper. First, from a portrait or vertical position, fold your paper in half, basically a hamburger fold, and unfold. Fold the top edge of the paper down to the crease. Fold again along the crease. Now fold the top edge to the bottom of the folded area. Roll the paper into a cylinder and tape the edges together. Now what? Throw it. Well, that's not very fun. That's because it wasn't thrown correctly. It needs a little gyroscopic motion. Gyroscopic motion is a way of describing the motion of spinning objects. For example, a top when spinning doesn't tip over because the gyroscopic motion creates an upward force called angular momentum. Angular momentum opposes gravity and keeps the top on its tip. But as the gyroscopic motion slows down, angular momentum decreases until there isn't enough left to keep the top from tipping over. The same holds true for the gyro flyer. It needs to spin. When we didn't spin it, gravity pulled the heavier front end down, causing it to tip over. However, when it is spinning, gravity can't tip it. Since it moves straight through the air, the shape of the flyer causes the air moving through the gyro flyer to create lift, allowing it to glide. But as it slows down in flight and spinning, gravity will pull it to the ground. Like when you throw a football and give it a spin, you give it gyroscopic motion so it flies better? Exactly. And you throw the gyro flyer the exact same way as a football. As you let go of it, roll your fingers along the outside to give it a spin. Cool. But what would happen if we used bigger or smaller paper or some other material? There's only one way to find out. Go try it. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. Mm -hmm.